Hello everyone and welcome to the Kiki London YouTube channel. My name's Amanda and in today's video we're going to be doing a sparkly swirly set of gel polish nails so I really hope you all enjoy watching. I'm going to start off I am working on a display tip so you would need to do all your natural nail prep if you was doing this on natural nails. As always I do have a natural nail prep video so I will leave that linked in the description box below. So on our first nail we're going to come in with the beautiful sweetheart. I absolutely love this pink. So that's what it looks like of one coat of colour down. We're going to cure that coat for 30 seconds and then come in with our second coat so I start off by trying to get a nice neat cuticle application and then just bringing that color down and then just capping that free edge of the nail with the sides of my brush just so that we would prevent any chipping if we was doing this on ourselves or if we was wearing this set then I'm going to cure that second coat for 30 seconds and we're going to pop that now aside and we will come back to it further along. So for the base on our next now we're going to be using that beautiful sweetheart but this time with silver shrine and I want to create a really pretty soft and sparkly ombre so I'm going to be using my Kiki London ombre brush for this. Now for this first coat we're going to do the first coat slightly different to the second coat. So the first coat I'm coming in with sweetheart down at the cuticle area taking that roughly halfway to three quarters of the way down the nail and then I'm filling in that tip area with the silver shrine do be careful that you check your brush that you don't get any of the first color on the second colors brush before popping it back in your bottle then we're going to blend these two colors together now I've never I don't think I have anyway done an ombre with silver shrine before so I was really impressed with how easily it blended as you can see it just took those sparkles very softly down into the sweetheart so I did my ombre same as I always do blend out that harsh line and then bring the color into that ombre section that we've created in the middle of the nail and I really really love this how it was you could easily come over with a second coat and do exactly the same again but I wanted to do the second layer of the ombre with sweetheart and the new no wipe glitter top coat this is the diamond dust one because I wanted to have a bit more of a sparkly set now look how beautiful and holographic this is it's so holographic my camera doesn't actually like to pick it up so what I'm going to do is second coat come in with sweetheart take it roughly halfway down the nail so we're taking it down to where that ombre started and I do still want to be able to see a little bit of the silver shrine so when it comes to adding the diamond dust I'm not going to take this right up into the pink to begin with I'm just literally leaving a slight gap where we had that previous blend and then I'm going to take my ombre brush and I'm going to blend it together to slowly close in that gap. But basically because I wanted you to still be able to see a little bit of the silver shrine. Silver shrine is such a unique color. It gives off such a beautiful effect because although it's silver, it has these pinky blue shimmery undertones to it it's, it's just beautiful if you haven't got it it's definitely a must-have color so with the no white glitter top coat I'm blending it into the sweetheart and I'm blending it back I, as you see I went vertical and horizontal a few times just until I was happy with the blend again it's a very very easy blend to do so because the top coat requires a 60 second cure I popped that in to cure for 60 seconds and then off camera I did exactly the same on the ring finger as well because I wanted these two nails to be the same now we are going to be doing some nail art on top of those so I'm going to pop them aside for now and then on this now I'm going to come in with silver shrine so I'm coming in with one coat of that and I will bring it up to the camera and this is where you will really see that beautiful pinky bluey purpley shimmer in it as it reflects in the light it's absolutely stunning and it's so highly pigmented as well if I was doing this coat color sorry on its own I would probably do two coats just so we've got a nice full-on even coverage but where I'm going to be coming over the top with the glitter top coat I just did the one top coat sorry the one coat so this now effectively is now finished. If you didn't want to add any more nail art to this, you've top coated using the diamond dust top coat. So you don't need to add anything else to this nail. This now is now done because the glitter is a top coat. So this is what our set is looking like so far. So like I said, that little finger has now been finished. I'm not going to be doing anything more to that. But I did want to incorporate that diamond dust top coat into a little bit of nail art. So that's why on this one, on these nails, I've used it for nail art purposes rather than top coating purposes. 
So on these two nails, I want to come in with some colourful swirls. So because I'm going to be hand painting over the top of them, I'm going to put a layer of the No Wipe Matte Top Coat down. Now this step is completely optional. I do it for two reasons. When I'm hand painting on camera, I find it's a lot easier to watch if I'm hand painting over a matte top coat because you don't get that shiny reflection on camera. I also as well have, since doing this, found it a lot easier to hand paint over a matte surface. And I, I just, I find it a really quick and easy step and it just makes the hand painting that little bit easier because when you're hand painting with the gel polish, if you're gel hand painting over a matte surface, your gel polish tends to run that little bit less compared to over your tacky inhibition layer. So it is a little bit of personal preference, but it is a step that's not necessarily needed. So like I said, on this now, I wanna come over and do some colorful swirls. So I'm using three colors from the Pastel Neon collection. I love this collection. It's been one of my favorite collections since it released. I just love these colors. Now this particular design was inspired by Sarah's Now Secret. So I will leave her Instagram name in the description box below. I see a set similar to this on her stories and I absolutely loved it. I loved the fact that you've got the sparkles underneath these bright colours and it just looked really, really fun because not everyone wants a full on bright set, but you still want a little bit of brightness. And I felt as though this kind of was somewhere in the middle between between being subtle and a bit in your face, if that makes sense. It was definitely a set that I would wear myself because I don't tend to go full on out neons on myself. So what I'm basically doing is I'm taking my striped liner brush and I'm starting off with the peach side and I'm just drawing on a really simple swell. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the 10 second feature on my Kiki London LED lamp to flash cure that. So it's not fully curing the gel polish but it's freezing it in place. What that means is if I then come in with my next colour and make a mistake, I'm going to be able to wipe off the second colour without disturbing that first colour which is a godsend when you are doing hand painting. Whenever I'm doing any kind of hand painting, I always use that 10 second flash cure setting on my lamp. So now that we've got the peach side down, I'm coming in with purple rain and I'm just following alongside that first swell that we've painted on. So I always start off by doing the swell quite thin and quite rough and then I just come over it with a little bit more gel polish to thicken it up. I am going to do two coats of the colours just so they really pop over that sparkly base. But this is what it's looking like so far. So again, I'm going to flash cure the purple rain for 10 seconds. And then I'm coming in with a chick flick. So chick flick I'm doing on the other side of the orange. Again, just following the curve of that first swirl. I find that first line you pop down is the hardest because the other two, you're just following the swirl you've already created. So it's quite easy. And if you allow the striped liner brush to do a lot of the work for you, it also makes it a lot easier as well. So by doing a lot of the work for me, I'm just kind of just very gently using quite a light touch, letting the brush fan down and I'm not applying too much pressure because I don't want a too thick line but I'm just allowing the brush to flow along the nail and it just makes it a whole lot easier. You can as well come in and neaten it up with your angled nail art brush and a little bit of alcohol if you're not happy with the crispness of your line. Now we had done all of that first coat of colour I'm going to pop that in for a full 30 second cure because we'd only been flash curing those gel polishes we need to make sure they are fully cured and then all I'm going to do is come over the top and just doing this to bring a little bit more opacity to the colours they are a two coat colour system so this way you're just going to make those colours pop a little bit more especially where we're going over an ombre base so it's not an even colour underneath Exactly the same as before. I come in and did the purple line at first because it was on the end. Flash cured that for 10 seconds and then I'm coming over the top of the peach side. I love these three colours together as well. The Pastel Neon collection, their colours all work very, very well together. But I find these three colours especially are the ones I reach for a lot when I want more than one or two colours in a set. And you can see just adding that second coat of colour really, really brings the colours to life a little bit more, really makes them pop a little bit more. If I was doing this over a white base, I probably wouldn't come in and do two coats of colour because the colours are pigmented. But where I have worked quite thin and we're working over a more darker base, I felt as though the two colours really helped make the colours stand out over that soft ombre base. 
just neaten it up. I like to work quite thin with my hand painting as well because I find it a little bit easier to control the gel polish. So I do like to work thin but then come over a couple of times until I'm happy with how the nail is looking. And this is what it's looking like now we've got that swell done and cured. So again, I did that on both nails. On the second nail, I did my swell a little bit thicker just because I wanted to show you guys you can play around and you don't necessarily have to have super thin swells. You can do thicker ones if you want them to stand out a little bit more. I think for this design though, I did personally prefer the nail that I did on camera with the finer swells running through it. So now I'm going to take a coconut and my dotting tool and I'm going to start off by just dotting down a little circle and we're going to just simply do a little star on each nail just because I wanted there to be something, a little something extra. This is a really, really easy way to do a star. So you just pop down your circle center and then using your striped liner brush, just pull out from that gel polish in the center to create the edges of your star. And I'm going to do that on both now. So because it was a quick and easy step, I thought I would show you guys again. So I dot down, just run that dotting tool into the center just to make that circle a little bit bigger. And then just pulling out from the edges to create your star shape. And then once we have done that, we're going to pop those in to cure for 30 seconds. So now that our little stars have cured, this is what our design is looking like so far. So I then decided I wasn't 100% sure what to do on this now. So I did matte top coat it because I was going to paint on some more stars. But I felt as though that was a little bit too simple and I wanted to add another shiny element to the nail. So I reached for my Kiki London crystals. I think I have here pink sapphire and the crystal AB, but I'll double check and leave them linked in the description box below. Now for my Kiki London crystals, I always apply them using my no wipe rubber top coat. So I'm going to come over the top of this now, apply a thin coat of that rubber top coat we're applying this top coat one to seal in and finish off our gel polish design and then also to apply those crystals so we're not going to cure it we're going to pop down our crystals into that uncured top coat and what I started off by doing I just wanted I, I knew I wanted a trail going across the nail but I wasn't 100% sure what I had in mind so I thought I'm just going to start popping down the crystals and then seeing what it looks like so I was going in a pink and then a b pattern I wanted it to look quite uniform because I felt that's how the set was going and then as I was getting to this point I still was a little bit unsure what to do so I kind of end up coming in with some more smaller crystals around that larger crystal that I've got in the middle and it created kind of like a flower effect so I've got my pink crystal in the middle and then I'm going to come around the edge with smaller AB crystals until that entire crystal in the circle is covered with a crystal all the way around and then we're going to have the trail off each end I thought it was just a little bit different compared to just having a crystally swell going across the nail I was I was going to add in the yellowy amber crystal color that we have as well from Kiki but I just felt as though it didn't fully match so I stuck with the pink sapphire and the crystal AB and I really liked how it looked against the sweetheart base I thought it just looked really really pretty and it's a fairly easy crystal placement to do especially if you're doing it in this technique with using your rubber top coat to set your crystals obviously if you use glue as you're popping your crystals down they're setting in a place so you aren't able to move them around when you're setting them down in your no white rubber top coat you're able to move them around completely remove them from the now if you need to you can play about with your design as much as you want want to until you pop that now in to cure so since finding this method I no longer use glues really to apply crystals because this way is a lot easier so I have sped this video up because it is I am quite slow at applying crystals I feel like I faff around a little bit but I always want to get them placed exactly where I want them so here just playing around with the entrails of that I liked how it was swooping up into the cuticle area and then swooping around down near the tip of this nail I didn't want to go all the way down to the very tip of the nail because I'd left that flower kind of like in the upper center of the nail I felt like it would have been too much if that trail would come all the way down so once you are happy with your crystal placement we're going to pop that in to cure for 60 seconds and then that is that nail done so because we've applied the top coat for applying our crystals and because on the little finger we already applied the glitter top coat 
both those nails do not need another layer of top coat so i'm just going to top coat the two middle nails and again i'm using that no wipe top coat here because i want to make sure i've got a nice smooth surface and sometimes when you're hand painting you can end up with a bit of an uneven surface so i like to come in with the no wipe rubber top coat because it self levels everything out and you're left with a nice smooth finish i do also think these two nails would have looked pretty matte as well but i really wanted to keep those holographic sparkles from the diamond dust top coat so once we had cured that top coat this is the finished result and i absolutely loved them this is definitely a set i would wear on myself i probably would just add in the little finger the same on my thumbnail so if you did enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up leave us a comment below letting us know what you think of the design and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button please do subscribe so i shall see you all again in next friday's video Thank you all so much for watching. Have a lovely weekend. Goodbye.